if there was any species of pest that I would deem a su have superpower characteristics, it would be a roof rat or rats in general, just because they have the adaptive ability of being able to fall over 50 feet without sustaining injury. They can crawl up literally almost any textured surface, so any any stuccoed wall here without too, too much effort. And I mean, they're really acrobatic. They're great swimmers. They can swim over half a mile against currents without, without any problem. They can tread water for three days without drowning. Uh, generally, um, their incisors are, are what make, make them indestructible almost in some cases. The, the constant need to chew and their incisors are almost indestructible. So they, they chew through materials like aluminum, um, sheeting, sheet rock, wood, brick. Uh, so it makes them a very destructive pest. During the fall, fall and winter, especially when they find their way inside attics and homes, they, they find their way to plumbing lines, electrical lines, and become a very destructive pest. And they're affiliated with jaundice through their urine. Um, they, rodents have very little control over their bladder functions. Their droppings are, um, their fecal droppings are linked to salmonella and food poisoning. They cause a lot of problems in the food industry because they get up onto food prep counters and contaminate our food sources. In an area like Las Vegas, wherever there's a lot, a lot of vegetation, fruit trees, if there's shelter, water, and vegetation, you're gonna find these rodents because it's the perfect breeding ground for them. With roof rats, you need a little bit of strategy. Um, you're not just dealing with one rat. In a, lot of, in a lot of settings, especially a roof rat, it's a communal pest. You're gonna be dealing with up to, to 10 rodents at a time. So getting a professional out here just to evaluate your home, the points of entry and any conducive conditions that could be bringing them to your home is probably the best bet. Roof rats are a community problem. To have one homeowner think that they're dealing with it on their own and by themselves is just putting a band-aid on an issue. This is a community problem that like a female can have 40 pups in her lifespan. They reach sexual maturity within three to four months. That produces a huge problem with rodent population. And then they inundate communities like this. So coming together as a community, reaching out to your HOA and implementing an action plan of prevention is the best way to go.